This is Twit. Um, Patrick, who works here at Twit, um, said, I made a shortcut to have Siri on our HomePod respond to Hello, lady, pull my finger with hee hee. My three year old loves it. And I thought, you know what? This is a silly shortcut, but I'm going to show everybody how to make this because it's actually a great example of how you can just get Siri to give you a piece of information when you talk to her or him, depending on how you've got your Siri set up. So Siri is never they. Um, so the first thing you need to do, and I am using iOS 15, but the principles are going to be the same here, um, is you need to set a title. And this is what you're going to say after you've triggered Siri. Okay, so in this case, it would be pull my finger. Okay, and now you've got a couple of options. In this case, you want it to speak. Um, and so you can use speak text, but there's another option as well. And that is show result. Okay, and you might think, wait, show results, but I want Siri to talk to me. Sorry, I've got an iOS 15 bug here, so it's uh, struggling with uh, letting me type in the uh, search bar. Um, where did it go? Oh, I can't type. Ah, and I'm stuck. Either way, show results. Basically, what this does is it allows you to have um, Siri show you something if you run the shortcut from touch input. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you run something from touch input, then it's going to show you the result. But if you run it from a spoken input, like through CarPlay, through your HomePod, through just talking to Siri on your phone, then it's going to speak it. So what you can do there is just put in he, he. Um, and then when you run this or trigger it via, you know, the magic incantation, it's going to talk back to you. Um, and in this case, I ran it from the touch button on my phone. So it's come up with he, he um, and in a display, but that that's it. Um, so that I thought was a little fun thing that I would just take a very quick diversion and show people how it works. Yes, that is super simple. And then you could build on that, uh, should you choose, where if you wanted to, you could have it change the output, uh, the, the audio output to, you know, a different device or multiple mm -hmm. devices. So the whole house goes, yeah. hee hee. <laughs> yes. Uh, you can't do multiple devices. That's the only thing I'll say. Um, so, oh, it doesn't um, let you do AirPlay 2 stuff? No, no. Oh. So, uh, and uh, right now, at the very least, uh, shortcuts can only, so that's not entirely true. So if you are speaking directly to a device, um, then, um, and you say playback, then you can only select one device. If you have previously grouped your speakers together ah. and you hand off playback to one of those devices, now this works really well with Apple Music, um, then uh, it will play with through all of them. And that's the difference. It will hand off to a group, but play to one. Gotcha. Um, so it depends on whether or not you are retaining that control. And it's interesting, Patrick in the chat uh, has just brought up the fact that people do these, this differently. Uh, the way that his was set up is going to documents and choosing speak. Uh, yeah. And so it's really interesting that, you know, there are these different ways to make this happen. Um, that's, that's fun. That's fun. 